Globally, um, there is a real problem um, with our children's eye health is not included in child health programmes. There are a lot of children's eye diseases which are both preventable and they are treatable, but they really do need to be um, diagnosed early. Nimekwenda clinic ya mama na mtoto kuchanja mara tano. Katika zote mara hizo tano nilivyokwenda hakuna mwalimu wote wa afya aliangalia macho ya mtoto. Mara zote ninapoenda clinic sijawahi kusikia kupewa elimu ya macho. Nikachukua uamuzi wa kwenda hospitali nyingine. Alikuwa na miezi mitatu kasoro. Wakanipima akaniambia na pressure ya macho. Na sasa kumetokea amefanyiwa operation. Hali yake inaendelea vizuri machozi yote alikuwa anamtoka yameacha. I wanted to look into why children were coming very late for treatment at our tertiary center Muhimbili while these children are seen throughout from birth to five years in the reproductive and child health clinics. They don't achieve the best vision because they have been delayed or they die from the diseases that would have been prevented or cured. The health workers in the primary health facilities were not aware of the eye conditions in children. They did not know how to manage the common diseases but also we are not able to identify blinding diseases that were supposed to be identified and uh, referred for further treatment. There is a program, um, a very well-established program by WHO and UNICEF um, called the Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illness. Um, and it's a global program uh, in over a hundred countries. Because this training includes many things, fever, pneumonia, uh, diarrhea, and it even includes ear health, but it does not include eye health. So that is the one big thing that is missing. So we felt that if we could develop a training module um, that would fit into this training package, um, it could also be included. we started working on development of a child eye health module, which was congruous or similar to the modules that are taught in the integrated management of child illnesses. This is taught to, to almost all, more than 80% of every district primary health workers. So it is a really an opportunity for incorporating child eye health into the general health system in Tanzania at the primary level. We have actually done the first training in Dodoma, Bahi district. And for the first time, it has included the I module. Before the training, I wasn't, I wasn't able to identify different problems of the eyes. I wasn't I was not able to know what to do. But after training, I'm very confident to examine the child's eyes because I know what I'm going to look for. After training, I have come here and share my experience and my training, which I have got there, to my fellow health workers. I think more, more, more staff or health workers will be trained in order to help more people who are suffering from eye problems. I normally see 100 children per day. We tell our mothers about the health education of every diseases, for example, malaria. This, it is the one I will teach them every morning while I come here about the eyes. I said that I would like to go to the training training of eye diseases because I want to help the community and my nations. The Ministry of Health, the reproductive child health system 
has agreed that child eye health training can be also included into the integrated management of childhood illnesses. Therefore, we have the module is ready and therefore this is a forum for improving primary eye care for children in the country. If you look at the, the primary facility data, one of the top 10 diseases eye problem. Three to five years, we expect to have a higher coverage of healthcare workers being trained on, a, on a MCI, including the eye module. We expect even the community members to have a, a high knowledge. Every material is available, so we expect this module to be really available in every training from now onwards, as far as the MCI is concerned. So when we can demonstrate that this training package is both successful and sustainable, then this will have a huge impact globally because it can be used by every child primary healthcare worker in every country. And this can really prevent um, children from going blind needlessly globally.